prestigious Institute of Directors in the heart of London. Its clients are some of the country's top business people, and they expect the very best. Our client is our directors of small and medium companies. The expectation is very high. They, uh, they expect good service, slick service, excellent linen on their table, and uh, excellent food and excellent wine. The Institute has its table linen and chef's uniforms cleaned by Johnson Stallbridge Linen Services based in Dorset. The latest technology along with a skilled workforce are used to sort, wash and press linen tiles and uniforms for the hospitality industry. The company is one of the main employers in the area and is inspiring the next generation of employees, including engineers. Emily Moores is an apprentice. So I'm on a level three apprenticeship at Yeovil College, uh, doing uh, maintenance engineering. Um, I'm at college one day a week and the rest of the time I'm here in the factory. Emily lives locally with her family as she studies and works. It's very important for us to engage with our local communities. Typically we operate in small towns where we are the major employer. So we need to make sure that we're engaging with local schools and local businesses. The company also offers apprenticeships in management and customer services. Daniel Stenhouse has climbed the career ladder. I started as an apprentice, worked in different departments, uh, transport accounts, uh, customer service. Uh, from that, worked on different projects, uh, then eventually got moved down as office manager at this site here. Well, you look very happy, I have to yeah. say. <laughs> Why do you love your job so much? The, the people here are fantastic. It's the variation. Every day is different. Um, and then just get involved in, just involved in so, much, so many different things. The company invests £1.3 million a year in new machinery and technology, but it's the people who are the backbone to this 40-year-old business. There are 650 staff working here, and the majority are locals. We make sure that the attention to detail is there. We make sure everyone's trained uh, in what they do, from sorting right the way through to the packing to the delivery driver. Johnson Group are developing something called the Johnson Academy, which is something for, for every member of staff, and that's whether they want to develop themselves and move through the business. Only 6% of the engineering workforce in the UK are women. So, Emily, there aren't many female engineers out there. Do you feel as if you're paving the way for other women out there? I feel very proud as a female engineer. If people see that I'm doing it as a female, then they should be able to say, actually, if she can do it, why can't I? Tom Doran is also an apprentice engineer. It's a great opportunity. It's uh, local to me. I don't know what's going to happen. Like, it's different every single day. The apprentices have mentors who guide them through practical and coursework. If there's anyone out there thinking, what am I going to do after school, what would you say to them? Um, follow your heart. Try and, if you're passionate about something, then go for that. An apprenticeship isn't as scary as it seems.